kite looping is one of the newer and more radical moves. It's not difficult to loop the kite, but it's difficult to land after you have done it. There are several ways of doing this, but the main difference is how low and deep into the power zone you dare to put your kite. This is a radical one, where the rider loops the kite incredibly low. The easier one is when the kite loops at a much higher position in the wind window. Let's start with the easy one. Jump and place your kite at 12 o'clock. As you start descending, pull hard with your back hand so the kite makes a full turn. The kite will loop and your speed will increase into your landing. It is difficult to not steer the kite back up when you see it going down towards the water. Take your front hand off the bar to prevent yourself from wrongly correcting and stopping the loop. Then, twist your body into a downwind direction for the landing. You will need to land straight downwind after a powerful kite loop because your landing speed will be very high. The more radical maneuver is when you put your kite at around 11 o'clock and just pull hard and continuously with the back hand. The kite will loop and you will be whipped up into the air, accelerating very fast into the landing. Land straight downwind or you will have no chance of making it. When you feel confident with the move, you can start adding rotations. You need to time your rotation with the takeoff just like a normal rotation. However, it's easy to over rotate when the power of the kite loop sets in. Extend your legs to slow down rotation speed in the last phase of the jump. If you pull your feet up, you may be going for a double rotation. Be aware that this is a very high powered trick and you can hurt yourself if you're not careful. It's better going out with one or two kite sizes smaller than you usually would. The smaller kite will have less pull and will also turn faster, making it easier to complete the trick. Be safe.